Hello, this is Michael with freewebsitetricks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, change the colors of your links on your website using CSS. Um, usually when you design your website in Dreamweaver you specify your link colors in modify uh, page properties and when you click on links this is how you specify your colors. So basically all of your links are going to be this same color so what do you do if you want to have a different color link like this? So you're going to use CSS to be able to change the colors of the links on the page and you're going to use a class. Okay, so to show you how I created these links here, I'm going to go ahead and create another link. So I'm going to label it another link. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another class. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit new CSS rule and this is going to open up and as it says choose a contextual selector type for your CSS rule and I'm going to leave compound based on your selection. I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to name it, I'm going to start off with a pound sign and I'm going to name it class 5 and then space a colon link all right and then you hit okay and go ahead and pick a color I'm just going to choose uh, this green just for now hit apply and okay so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select another link this text here I'm going to come up to insert layout objects and div tag and then I'm going to keep it on wrap around selection and I'm going to select the ID that I just made, which is class 5. I'm going to hit OK. And so now this is wrapped. So now I need to turn this into a link. So I'm going to select this text here, and then I'm going to go down to this link box, and I'm going to put a pound sign in there. So that turns it into a link. So now it turned green like we selected. I don't like that green, so I'm going to change it real quick. Make it, I don't know, this maroon color. So. There you're going to see a little bit better. So now that we got this done, we're going to go ahead and just come up to our CSS styles and we're going to right click and we're going to duplicate what we just did. So we're going to select pound class 5 a link. We're going to duplicate that and we're just going to rename this. And we're going to rename this going in the order that I specified down here because if you do it in this order, it should work fine. Just type in visit it. Hit OK and then do the same thing over again duplicate and now you're going to name it hover and then you're going to go in here and duplicate again and you're going to name the last one active okay and go back up to the first one which is a link and it's maroon so visit it if somebody clicks on the link once they come back to the page the visited color is going to be showing so I usually like to keep it matched with the the original color of the link then we're going to hover and hover is going to specify what color is going to display when somebody puts their mouse over that link so I'm going to go ahead and pick purple so it stands out and then active I usually like to do active to match my hover so we're gonna just pick the same purple and that's it so this is uh, ready to go you can add additional attributes if you want so if you want to make the link bold you can come in here add property go to font weight and select bold so see how the text is now bold for the link um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it simple and use the colors that we already specified. So now I'm going to go up here and click on Live View. And it'll show us the, the link in action. So there it is. It's maroon and it's changing colors as we uh, scroll over it. And that's it. So it's not that hard. It's a little tricky at first, but once you start messing around with it for a while, you'll get used to it. Also on the website, down on the bottom of the page, I have view the CSS style sheet used for this example. If you click on that, it'll open it up in another page. 
So to make things easier for you, you can actually just copy and paste this into your style sheets. So you just want to start off with the one that says link and end at the one that says active. And you want to end at this uh, bracket here. So you would just copy this and paste it into your site and then you can just rename the class and then specify the class to that text or to that link. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, once again, this is Michael from freewebsitetricks.com. Thanks for watching and hope this video helps.